Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to shoot bullets in the G Developer. Uh, download this file from the description below. It's on my Ichi.io um, account. And uh, really, it's just blocks, guys. I mean, like, <laughs> uh, if you wanna buy the example to contribute to the channel, you can. Uh, a lot of I noticed that a lot of you do. Yeah, thanks for supporting the channel. Basically, another late night tutorial. Uh, you might be watching this during the day, but uh, it's uh, super freaking late here and it's cold. All right, so uh, let me just run this. And you can see that, that nothing happens. So this object here is called Hero. And this is a... a um, let me just delete that there now. Actually, just let me add the behavior, and the behavior we are going to use is the uh, top-down movement, forward and eight directions. Double click on that, and just leave that as default. Doesn't really matter. Our uh, projectile um, object is uh, really nothing. You don't need to do anything with that. And our bad object, okay, basically the enemy. Who is going to be doing the shooting? He's red because red things are bad. Okay, if you watch Star Wars, the red lightsaber is bad. <laughs> and purple, our hero. So let's go to the uh, event editor and uh, let's create a new event. Okay, if you press a key on our keyboard, let's say a uh, space bar. Then we're gonna create an object. Create object. We're gonna create a projectile. And you need to select the position, the X and Y position. And the X and Y position of the object is going to be uh, the X and Y position of the bad guy. Okay. That's the X position. Let's find the Y. Uh, the Y there based on the bad guy and for the layer don't worry about it okay so if you put a spacebar you will notice that nothing happens that's because the projectiles are being created behind the um, the object you can select the uh, Z position of the object or the Z order uh, can set it to equals uh, zero or something. You might be able to see it. No, you can't actually. Let me uh, make this. Um, let's see, order three. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's right. Make it Z order five, so that's uh, above our bad guy. There you go. There's the bullets. So now we need to move the bullets uh, by simply adding a force. No, not the Star Wars force. A physics kind of force. And that is under uh, movement. Okay. We want to apply um, an angle force. Okay. Bad. And you can select the angle. Okay. Try um, zero. Okay, and we're gonna try a uh, 200 pixels per second. We're gonna make this a uh, permanent. Actually, we ended up moving ourselves. <laughs> we actually have to move the uh, the bullet object. And that shoots that way. So if we change the angle to say um, 90 degrees, this is 90. So I guess this is 90, zero. So this must be 160, 160. I guess I meant to say 180. I don't know how I am a game developer. Okay. Uh, which shows you that uh, anybody can be a game developer. Okay. I'm more of a graphic designer and animator. To shoot up, I guess you can do minus 90. And 
and that works. Okay, so if you want to shoot towards our guy, if you notice that um, we can move around. We want uh, this to shoot our um, hero. All you have to do is um, change it to uh, shoot towards an object. Pick the object, and that's going to be hero. Same speed, and make that permanent, because this does it only once. So when I move, I press spacebar. You can see that um, the bad guy now shoots our object. Okay. So instead of pressing spacebar, we can automate this. Um, I'm simply going to add a variable to our bad guy here go to object variables and uh, add a new variable call it whatever you want uh, I'm gonna call my uh, HH and I'm going to assign it to set it to zero and uh, I'm gonna make a new condition here that will continue to add to that variable okay object variables the uh, variable inside of um, bad is hh and we want to add one to it one every millisecond okay make a new rule and um, when that variable reaches say 100 let me find the um, object variable of bad which is hh equals or say greater than 100 we can reset that back to zero. Actually, I can just um, copy this and paste it over here and set it to equals zero. Okay. Now we can't see it, so let's uh, bring out a, uh, a text object. Made the text super big. And uh, I'm gonna make it uh, purple, purple night tonight. Okay, there is our text. <coughs> so we want to display the variable in of um, inside the text. Set text. Now it's called new object here. If you went to um, the name of this thing here. You can change the name to uh, super super text, or you can call it whatever you want. You can call it bananas if you wanted to. Uh, so now here, when you go to the uh, text object, what is text 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 object super text equals, and then we select the variable. Find common objects variables select the um, bad guy hh and I will display that variable okay okay uh, yeah, this this only happened once here <laughs> I meant to pay I mean I meant to put this here okay because if you don't put a, a condition here this uh, keeps doing it um, kind of like a loop so now it's going to run this clock here like this. So we don't, we want to change the uh, on pressing a space bar to something else. Yeah, we can actually combine this into just one um, action. Okay, so let me just cut this here, paste it over here, remove the uh, on press um, space bar, and we can reset the variable as well. Okay, so we're gonna create the object. Um, we're gonna change the order of the uh, object. You don't have to. Okay, this shoots the object, and this resets the um, uh, the variable. Okay. So every one hundred, it will shoot. Now. 
Now to save memory, what you can do is um, this object here. Let me just delete that there. You can give it a behavior, and uh, we're gonna select um, destroy when upside the screen. That way you don't have to do it in the events. Okay. So now it shoots. Now you can do the same with your object. All right. Okay. So we got two bullets now. We got a blue one and with a green one. The green ones are the bad ones. Okay, so okay, okay, so now we have um a green okay so alright, so now we got a green bullet and a blue bullet. Okay, this was the blue one is going to be for our uh, purple object and this one for this one. So if you run this now you can see that um the bad ones are the green ones. Okay. Alright, so let's add a new condition and um if we press a key, say spacebar, we want to create an object. It's gonna be from the um X position of the hero object. Let me just copy this. Change that to X. Uh, this should be hero actually. It's gonna be position X position of hero. There we go. This should be X. This should be Y here. So we're creating the object. Okay, so now we need to, um, uh, so now we need to give it a force, object, movement, let's add a force, projectile 2, and the angle is going to be uh, the angle of our object. Permanent. Now for the force, uh, we're gonna use uh, 200. If you set that to 500, 700, you'll be faster. Actually, we're doing green. How come we're shooting green? <laughs> we should be creating a um, a green, a, a blue projectile. That works fine, except for uh, we need to um, add a variable to um, to our hero. You can call this variable BB. You don't have to call it uh, that, but just for this example. Hit apply, and um, we can pretty much do the same thing. Okay, so if this variable is um, zero. Heroes uh, BB. I thought I did two Bs, but apparently three equals uh, zero. Then we add one to our uh, variable. Add one to BB or BBB, and uh, you'll notice that uh, now it will only shoot once. Okay. So what we can do is the, the same thing. We can uh, reset the variable. Um, is heroes BB is greater than say twenty five? Then we can set it back to zero. Say BB equals zero. 
so that way we can shoot again. New condition. If that variable is greater than zero, greater than uh, zero, then we add one to it. Okay, heroes BB uh, plus one. Here we go. And if you reduce this number, you can shoot more often. Set to 10. Increase the speed. Say a hundred, just for this example. Now, um, let me just change the uh, center of the um, of hero. Edit object. Let me go to edit points. And this is where we're shooting from. Add this like this. Alright guys, you can download this example from the link down below on the ETAO. And if you want to contribute to the channel, you can. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bye now.